good news. I got a phone charger. Bad news, it is Monday and I did not vlog Saturday or Sunday. Um, yeah, me and AJ were just very like exhausted. We kind of just stayed home both days. We cleaned on Saturday. Like we cleaned the entire house. I don't know if you can tell, um, but the bedroom is also clean. I did all my laundry and everything. Um, so yeah, we spent the whole day cleaning and then yesterday was Sunday and we just did nothing. We just kind of... Oh well, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to eat my sushi and probably watch Gossip Girl because it's the story of my life. Um, by the way, speaking of going home, I forgot to mention um, any of my friends from Maryland, if you're watching this, you are epically failing because I've lived in California now for over 10 months, almost a year. And the only person that's come to visit me is my friend that lives in Austria, overseas. And she's visited me twice now. She's here in California right now. Um, she's in LA. Fail. Epic fail. La, 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 la. So I just talked to um, one of the, I don't know, customer service people at um, Necessary Clothing because I placed an order um, on Cyber Monday and it was a freaking awesome order and I had gotten a lot of stuff and I spent like 80 bucks and that was with like 30% off but they never sent me I think I already explained this to you they never sent me the confirmation um, email with like shipping and everything so um, but I started getting like the newsletter email so I know that the order went through and then I shipped my bank account and they taken the money out and then I emailed them saying that I never got the confirmation email and then I checked my bank account again like a couple days later and the um, like charge was gone and so I just contacted them and asked if there was any way they could replace my order or like mimic the discount like give me a rain check on the discount so I could replace the order and she was just straight up like yeah sorry about it so I'm, I'm kind of mad. I was like, okay, well, that's unfortunate. Thanks anyway. And then I like clicked out and then I clicked poor service and then I like exited out. I feel bad, but I mean, she just, like I asked her multiple different questions and each time she was just like, yep, sorry. Yep, that sucks. Yep, sorry. Like she was just not helpful at all. So that kind of really sucks. Oh, I'm really mad because now like if I place that order, it would be like, it was like a hundred and... 15 or something and then I ended up paying 80 I don't even remember but oh it's just really aggravating because all the stuff that I had purchased I was really really excited to get like, I got a bunch of stuff and I'm really really mad <sighs> it makes me angry but what are you gonna do so yeah I'm gonna do my makeup um I have to go to work in like I gotta leave in like Two and a half hours? Yeah, two and a half hours. So I'm just gonna do my makeup and we'll see what happens, so. Hi guys! So it is 2.20. I have to leave in like a half hour-ish, maybe like in 45 minutes. Um, and yeah, I did my makeup and other things, kind of like my everyday thing that I do. Um, my hair, I did a little bit different. I left like more pieces down. I kind of just roughly like pulled it back. And then I pinned it instead of like just putting it in a ponytail. I just kind of like pinned the shit out of it. And so it's just like this bigger like Gossip Girl, Lily Vanderwoodson bun type thing. I don't know. I just like it. It looks fancy. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to wear for New Year's Eve, which sounds kind of premature. Um, but I had like some a shirt that's kind of like the style of what I wanted. So I just kind of wanted to see what it looked like all together because I'm debating if I'm going to like make a dress or buy one. I could always like buy one when I'm in uh, Maryland before I come back but um, I mentioned in my last like video video that I really wanted to like go glam this year and like really get dressed up and stuff for New Year's Eve even though it kind of sucks because I just got my plane ticket and I'm not going to be back in Vegas until 7 which means I'm going to have to drive from Vegas to where I live which is going to take like three and a half ish hours so I'm not going to be back in town until like probably closer to like 11. Um, after like I get my bags and everything so I'm gonna have like just enough time to like, go somewhere and then like watch the ball drop and then probably stay until the bar closes maybe and then I don't know it depends on if I work the next day 
<sighs> so yeah, that kind of sucks. But I want to show you guys the outfit because I might just wear this. I don't know. I just like this little, I just put this together and I just kind of like it. Um, so I will flip the camera around and show you. So this is the outfit that I kind of put together. Don't mind the shirt. There's like a stain on it. Um, I need to rewash it. But um, it's just like a three quarter length sleeve shirt I got from I think Body Central like a long time ago. Um, and the back is like open, but it has like this thing down here that like sags. But I just tucked it into the back of the skirt, and this skirt is from Kohl's. It is Candy's brand. Candy's brand. Um, I've had this for so long, and I just never wear it. It's like a silk watercolored skirt with like a tulle skirt underneath, um, and it's really like fluffy and pretty. And I really like the skirt. I just never really wear it. I love the way how it like the way how I love the way it like looks um, with the open back. I don't know, and the hair style and everything. And then I'm probably gonna wear either black tights or no tights, and then I have these black booties on, but I'm probably gonna wear, hopefully they fit, the ones that come in the mail, hopefully soon. Um, I ordered a pair from like an Asian website, so hopefully they come in in time, and hopefully they are not too small, because that's a problem that I have with a lot of Asian clothing sites, is like the shoes, they just don't fit right. So, fingers crossed those fit. If not, maybe I'll buy some from somewhere else, but until then I have these ones, which, if I do end up getting the other ones and they fit, then I'm probably going to sell these because I've never actually worn these before. Other than that, I think I'm going to go put on like my real work clothes because I'm definitely not wearing this to work. And then I will probably just chill out until I have to go to work. So, and that's, that's about it, guys. I know I'm a hot mess. Just made it to work. Now I'm going to jam Taylor Swift while I set up the bar. First, I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day. Um, so jean jacket, t-shirt from Go Jane. It's that like long split side one. My little tie around thing is from PacSun. Blue jeans from Kohl's, I think. And then my new Doc Martens. Then my hair is like in this big bun. I already showed you my hair. And then my makeup is my normal makeup with my little lip liner doodad. And that's it. Hey guys, so it's like one o'clock in the morning almost. Um, I want to be kind of quiet because AJ's sleeping upstairs. Um, yeah, so I got home from work and I ate some dinner and we watched um, my super ex girlfriend. And then AJ went to bed because he has to get up at like four in the morning, I think. So, ooh. Maybe not, because that's in like three hours. I don't know, but I'm about to get some water and then wash my face and get ready for bed. And then I have to go to work tomorrow as well, but not till the evening time, so. I also kind of wanted to tell you guys something um, cool that happened. Well, it's cool to me. I don't know if that's really cool to you guys, but um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Jamie Aronson. Um, he is, or he has been, um, Miley Cyrus's backup, like, or, like, lead guitarist since, like, forever, like, since she was Hannah Montana. Um, and he is also the guitarist in the band, um, American Hi-Fi, which is, like, I really love that band. Um. And a few couple years ago, because I have him on Facebook, I don't know why he accepted me on Facebook as a friend, but um, a couple years ago he wished me happy birthday in like a Facebook message and I like died. I pretty much died. And his birthday is like a little bit before mine, so like I wished him a happy belated birthday. And for some reason now like every year we wish each other happy birthday. And I like fangirl. And like this year, I wished him happy birthday, and then he never really wished, he never said anything back. And then just now, well not just now, but like earlier when I was sitting on the couch, he was like talking to me and um, he was asking me about like, cause I moved to California and like how I like it and everything. And then he was like, um, oh my God, he said something about like, um, like, hey, we should say hi sometime. Um, just not this weekend because I won't be in town, but uh, basically like wanted to get together <laughs> and I'm like, what the frick? 
what is my life? I think that's pretty cool though because he's pretty awesome. Before when I used to like fangirl over him, he was like in his 30s and now I think he's like 40. Which is, I mean it's not creepy but it's kind of creepy. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought that was really freaking cool and I feel very special. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.